The presidential challenger plane carrying President Haga in the Ichilema touched down back home at about 13.45 hours. The president alighted from the plane with news of some engagements expected to take Zambia's economic standing to higher heights. Among them is Zambia's relationship with China regarding the debt restructuring program. When we untangle this one, and I'm confident that we're getting there, we're working very, very hard, colleagues. It will then release revenues, create stability number two, certainty, which will allow us to see more investments and ability for us to deal even with the social sector. China is on board. Absolutely, China is on board. And you'll see me getting to China before or after the debt resolution. The plans to go to China is part of what happened. And President Hichlema advised Zambians never to allow politicians into leadership who would get the country into a debt crisis. In future, I must say, let's not allow leadership that are reckless, as reckless as those that brought us this debt mountain. We didn't need to be in this situation. President Manawasa and his team cleaned up our balance sheet. You all know that, isn't it? How come we're in a Western situation within a few years? It's because of the choice of leadership. The president also responded to questions regarding the attempt by police to search former president Edgar Lungu's residence. The issue of the raid is a police matter. I'm sure you know what our Bill of Rights says, what our constitution says. Any citizen who is aggrieved in this territory called Zambia has a right to go to the police, including to the court, to complain. And the police and the court don't have a choice, but have what is called an obligation to hear that citizen, isn't it? And I don't see any harassment. If the police are harassing him, we should address that matter. The president has also explained the reported withdrawal of some police officers from former President Lungu's residence. The former president is entitled to three policemen. Am I right? Yes, Mr. President. And this is the case you're asking. He's entitled to three policemen. But he had how many? Uh, there were 13. He had 13. The question is that, how did he have 13 instead of three? That was an abrogation of the law, isn't it? But equally, people should not sleep outside the gates of someone. That's the contravention of the law. And I think the police must do their job. After the chat with the media, the president and the first lady left on the presidential chopper. Mark Fasson Mukukam, ZNBC News, Lusaka.